Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! So you might notice that we're not quite where I last left off. And there's a reason for that. There is something around here. There's the berries. Yes, the berries. Off camera, I loaded an older save and went looking for the berries and now I know where they are. While looking around, by the way, I also found something else. If we come over here towards where this one person is, somewhere in this bush right here is some money. I already picked the money up, but the reason why I want to bring it up is because it is right at the edge of the map. And in fact, I passed through it the last time I walked through here, but it was so close to the edge of the map, I immediately transitioned to this screen right here and wound up missing it. I think it would have been nice if that money in that bush was... Actually, I wonder if I would have been able to pick it up right here. I think this is the same bush. Maybe. Not know. Either way, it would have been nice had the money not been so close to the edge of the screen, because it was easily missable. Yeah, especially because it was invisible. You know what else was missable? This. I'm gonna try these ones. Received rare berries. Okay, so here's the thing. I actually did notice this thing right here and tried to interact with it last time. But that was after getting a game over and before talking to the person who wanted these berries. Apparently, this berry bush cannot be triggered until you know you're supposed to be looking for berries. And that is why I had so much trouble finding the berries. That is a problem. That berry bush should have been interactive regardless of whether I talk to the person over here-ish. Here-ish. Where is he? This guy likes to hide inside the bushes along the edge. Makes him really hard to find. Well, here I am. Would be nice if there was a marker to tell me where he was. Maybe a little further? Okay, there you are. Now, before I talk to you, I have 189 health max and 60 mana. So, let's see what happens here as I talk to this guy as I also try to remember the controls. Oh my lord! You actually found it! Thank you! I'll restore your mana, but unfortunately I still have to charge you. What? I helped you find that berry. It's the way of the world, my friend. Don't worry, I'll make sure to discount you. It will only cost 45 money. What is this money called? Party mana restored. Well, in other words, it restored my health. When you told me mana, I thought you meant mana. Is that something I can do again? Possibly not, because I can't return to this area if I had to guess. Well, I guess we will consider that revenge for not returning the keys to him after we were done sleeping at the library. Because, you know, we didn't exactly do that. Okay, now to get back to where I was. By the way, I'm feeling a little bit more optimistic about this stream. Things were kind of rough towards the end of the last stream. I found myself kind of frustrated, partly from looking for those berries. But it's been a couple days since I recorded. That has given time for things to kind of sink in. I now have a good idea of what I'm doing. Things should go smoother now. I'm feeling optimistic. 
That said, I'm hoping that the game creator is still watching, or, you know, watching at all, because I have wrote down some notes of some critique that I want to give about the game. I've got some constructive criticism. You're definitely going to want to listen to that. Some of it, it might not be too helpful, considering it it's relevant for this game, and this game is going to be releasing here in just a little over a week. Probably not enough time to really make any changes, but regardless, the advice that I have might be useful for the future. Something to keep in mind with future episodes of this game or possibly some other game you might wind up working on. I would give that critique right now, but you never know. The game creator might show up during this stream and then I'll want to repeat it while they are here. So rather than repeat it, I will wait and see. If I remember correctly... Oh, that's right. It asked me to save at this point. But well, I will go ahead and save right here. We're gonna be getting into a flashback fight. Oh yeah, as a recap. So, we're having a flashback right now. To when Taku was trying to learn magic. Because normally kids his age should already have magic, but he was a late bloomer. Oh, so hello there, Maddie. Welcome to today's stream. Oh, it was nighttime at this point. Look at all the stars. You can turn the camera upside down. You you can turn... Okay, it, sure. I never actually thought to try that, but... Well, it's upside down now. Oh yeah, and then we get to this part. I remember this. Let me read this again. In spread matches, a green spread bar appears at the top of the screen. Yes. The goal is to get the spread da bar down, deplete it to win. And what the game failed to explain to me... How do you make it go down? Is it by hitting your opponent? How is it different than simply depleting your opponent's HP? Um, let me kind of study this. And we don't need to do a call sign, because we don't have any magic in the flashback. Let's do a weak hook. I'm fairly certain it doesn't matter... Oh, that time we managed to get him in one hit. I guess because I timed it correctly? I don't think it matters too much where in the timing section we time it. As long as we get it into that little space. Students. Spoiled brats. And this should be the second fight. Yes, this is where we last left off. I, I try not to end a stream while I'm in the middle of something, but I kind of needed to last time. That's okay, give me an opportunity to go back for that berry. Even though it wasn't as helpful as I thought. I thought it was going to be like a permanent buff. Alright, well, let's do this again. Ugh, I almost got fooled. I almost pressed it. So 
so is that meter going down based on my timing? Is that what's going on? The game could definitely stand to explain things better at certain points. Spoiled brats. Forget just any school. I'll make it into an academy. Oh, we're finally being told what we're doing, huh? We're this far into the game, and we're finally getting plot. An explanation for why we're wandering around. And this time the meter won't go down all the way. Nope. Because I failed. Oh, wow. I got lucky there. Oh, uh, that's fail. Darn it. And of course we're fighting kids who... High success? Oh, so it actually does matter where in the meter we go. I was about to say, of course we're fighting kids who do know magic. Hello, Marker Man. Water punch as in sweat? Um... I, I guess that's one way of putting it. Though if we're using that sort of logic for a water punch, I'm not exactly sure how to explain fire punch. Anyway, forget them. Can I turn the camera upside down here, too? Yep, I could totally turn the camera upside down here, too. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to. Did you get your attack in before I did? I'm pretty sure you did. Even the damage indicators are upside down. Maddie says, Fire Punch. Um, a fight that really gets your blood boiling. I suppose there's that. Probably is one way of putting it, yeah. We'll go with that. Uh-oh. Another mechanic. Oh, boy. In a timer battle, you need to deplete the spread bar before time runs out. When it's your turn, you will be forced to move fast via a turn timer bar. Oh, goodness me. Uh, I'm, st I'm still getting used to this battle system. I understand it, but I need to think about it. The turn timer bar is relentless. You must make your turn quick or else it will run out and you'll lose your turn. Screw it all. I'm good enough. Well, maybe you are. I can do better than any of them. I mean, it's not a bad thing that you're introducing different mechanics for battles. But 
but um, it makes me nervous considering how relentless this game is overall, it seems like. So now we got that one friend Taku has. The Rainwood Academy of Magic? You'll never make it in. Screw you. You're a dummy. Screw you! Evil teacher? Okay, we are given some amount of time here. Oh, that's what you mean. Okay, I thought it was whenever your turn comes up and you have to do the menu selection. Oh, you do. Crap. Crap. Weak wind cross. Sign not called. I failed. Because I was in a rush. And forgot about the sign thing. Exactly what I was concerned about when you told me I had a time limit to choose an option. Call sign. Ugh. See, now I'm panicking. It's a good thing you got a save point right before this fight. Let's defend. Hopefully recover some health. Okay, that should help. Get some health recovery. Now let's do this. Oh gosh, that's a tiny space. It's a good thing it slowed down in there. Well, now I'm definitely glad I ended the last stream when I did, because now I'm learning this, and I'll have it fresh on my mind going forward. No, wait! I'm really good. I mean... I c can improve. I can be get better. Please let me in. I would question why she is not letting you in despite the fact that you won that match, but she's an evil teacher. Oh my ha, huh, this kid's ego. Your hand to hand wasn't that bad, but you're not what we're looking for. Just go to general school. Screw you. They want me to go where my friends are? Is that so bad? No. I'm better than them. I'll show you all. I'm better than all of you. You know, you're kind of proving the teacher's point. Bleep you. Did I turn that on? I pressed Y to get an error on myself so I could see where I was, and at the same time that lit up. Oh, this is a different one. I think this is like a telephone. Hey. What? That's how you greet your old friend? 
Well, you're not really a friend so much as a quote-unquote friend. What? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to meet you at Momo's place, okay? Yeah? Well... Things will go well with her. And uh, we got slow movement. Hmm. Which way do I want to go, I wonder? I will say, visually, I do like how this game looks. Okay, so to explain exactly what happened there, basically, he, he seems to have this crystal ball that lets him communicate with his friends. At least that's what I think is going on. Oh, we got some fun music here. Oh, what is this place? Oh, there's a thing in there. Some sort of chicken, I guess? I still feel like maybe this running speed is still slightly too fast, could be a little slower, not much slower. I do like the idea of going fast, but this is kind of jarring almost. Also some graphical hiccups going on back there. Okay, we're gonna go on an episode break right now, and when we come back, we're gonna go ahead and explore this town and see what we can find besides purple chickens.